If you or someone you know recently got a mortgage, then it's safe to say that the paperwork that was necessary probably made it stressful and frustrating. It may seem that it's actually the mortgage brokers who are making you go through this process, but trust me, if we didn't have to ask for the paperwork, we wouldn't. It doesn't excite us to ask you for documentation any more than it excites you to log back into your bank account and print us out more stuff. The big question that most people have is why? Why all the paperwork? You're about to find out the reason mortgages are so paperwork heavy right now. Plus, you'll learn about how the lack of the perfect loan file has put major stress on Bank of America and Fannie Mae. I'm Ben Brashen. And I'm Ryan Leopold, and welcome back to Mortgage Resource TV. We all long for the days when people could be trusted to borrow money and pay it back. And most people are actually pretty trustworthy when it comes to that. Sure, in fact, the issue doesn't lie in proving that a borrower can pay back a loan at all. The paperwork issue actually lies not in the risk the bank takes on lending the money, but actually on the perfect loan file that must be created each and every time. Okay, Ryan, let's clarify this a little bit. Banks don't actually lend out their own money, typically. It's kind of the crux of banking, right? They borrow money and then they lend it out at a slightly higher rate. It's the same thing they do with your savings account. That's how banks make money. It's called arbitrage. The big issue here is when banks borrow money from Fannie Mae to lend to you, they also have to prove your credit worthiness to Fannie Mae. And they do this with the loan file that you submitted to your loan officer. That's right. You know that file that goes through underwriting and doc drawing and funding? It's not actually done being looked over for quite some time after you think it's closed and you've gotten your loan. That file's gonna be additionally scrutinized by these huge institutions, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. So you may be asking yourself, what happens if the loan file isn't perfect then? Well, in a nutshell, if the file isn't perfect, then the bank can't borrow the money from Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, and then they have to lend that money out themselves, kind of out of their back pocket. And this is called a buyback. And when a mortgage company is forced to buy back a loan, it can cost them hundreds of thousands of dollars. Then they just collect monthly payments on a few thousand bucks a month. And you can imagine most mortgage companies aren't really in the business of lending out a couple hundred thousand dollars and then only getting back a few thousand a month. They're actually in the business, at least the mortgage people you typically work with, are in the business of originating loans and then selling them to Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. It's a bit complex, but you have to think about the industry is it's very segmented. You have the borrower, you or your client, mm -hmm. and then you have the loan officer who's kind of in the customer service industry. Then you have the bank who actually gives you the money, and then you have Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac who actually gives the bank the money to give to you. In fact, Forbes magazine recently reported that much of the media has it all wrong. In fact, securing a mortgage approval and satisfying credit underwriting guidelines are really not the difficult part. It's meeting the rigorous documentation requests that most people fall flat. And I know rigorous. I mean, I just did that Spartan climb up the mountain, and rigorous is exactly what it is. It is hard to suffice all the paperwork, just like climbing a mountain. But the good news is simple. You can simply scan, photocopy, fax, and deliver every aspect of your financial life. And then shortly before we close, yep. check everything and send it over again. The reality is it's a paperwork bloodbath. But with you, your loan officer at the bank, and Fannie Mae, you're all fighting. And they're fighting over the perfect loan file, not whether or not you're credit worthy to borrow the money. The paperwork got so bad between Bank of America and Fannie Mae, the Bank of America completely stopped using Fannie Mae, even though Fannie Mae backs about 40% of all mortgages in the United States. Imperfect loan files may have just been missing one page of a bank statement, a pay stub, an incorrect address on a credit report, or a random deposit are part of the problem that created $2.5 billion in buybacks for Bank of America alone in 2011. So Ryan, what's the moral of the story here? Quite simply, those people who are out to get a mortgage will come out with a nightmare story if they don't understand the process of completing a perfect loan file. And this scrutiny is really the same for everyone, but it can feel like even more work and it can feel harder if you're self-employed or have large deposits in a bank account or really have any number of credit inquiries. It all starts with a real pre-approval, including your credit, income, and asset documentation. Then once the full application is done and you found a place to purchase or a right to refinance, realize that all those statements you already submitted will have to be updated again. 
then and only then will we be ready for the initial underwrite, which is done by a processing department. Now, this is the first time you'll really find out if page three was missing of a bank statement, if you need additional inquiries addressed, or I guess if your pay stub seems to have something glitchy with it, which you also might want to talk to your boss. Uh, then once processing is done, and it's actually going to be submitted to underwriting. Now this is when the bank actually looks at it. This is the bank's final chance to make sure that the perfect loan file was created. Otherwise, they risk the dreaded buyback. So remember, it's not the loan officer, even the bank you're working with that thinks that page three is the most important document in your entire financial life. It's Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and the potential for buybacks which can cost mortgage companies hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's what makes the perfect loan file so important. And that's why we're gonna request lots of documentation because the dreaded buyback. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you next time on Mortgage Resource TV. Imperfect loan files that may have just been missing a pay stub, a bank statement. I got the order wrong. Uh, you ever watch Pet and Teller? Yeah. When one guy keeps talking and the other guy just sits there really quiet? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> proving. P proving? It says providing. It doesn't. It says proving. 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 P R O V I N G. Proving. That's not proving, is it? <laughs> Brastronomics, I don't know her. I'm impressive. Proving. Just get through because we're not even halfway done with yeah. this thing right now. We're almost done actually. With the whole thing? Almost. We're more than halfway. <laughs> <laughs> I just got full.